Hello everybody, it's your boy Mixic back with another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. This episode was starting off by going to our home base here, going into our big mansion, and we're needing to speak to Dutch right now. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Oh what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge, we hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Dutch has always been good to me, so I need to be good to him this time. We need to come together. We're going to do Dutch's plan. We're going to rob this bank, and we're going to get out of here. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Okay, so we're going to Dutch and we're going to speak to a man about a boat. A settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Yes, you do, Dutch. You you have a good plan here. We're going to do it successfully. We will get the money, and we will leave this place forever. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Oh, no, my bad, Dutch. I just ran into a tree. That's my bad. My horse is okay. We're just going to get back up and keep on moving. So, you were saying? Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I uh, know. Don't worry, Dutch. I know you're doing good things for the whole of us. What? When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. So we have arrived at the place where we need to talk to somebody about getting a boat. We're going to head on to the inside the house and see what we can do.
Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur. Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Okay, so we're walking with these boys right now. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an agent predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And Don't worry, I'm following you. We're going the right way. We call this ground, it feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. We got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. So we're heading into the water here, and it looks like there's some fish traps that we need to check. There's something might be in the water here. It looks like there's some alligators, maybe? Check the traps with me. Don't worry, I'll search this trap for you. Yeah, there's definitely something in the water popping up. But there's nothing in the trap. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. So we're just walking through this river here, going to the other trap to see if there's any more fish that this man has caught. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. And is there anything in this trap? Let's look, is there? We got one. We got one crayfish, and that is it. So let's go meet up with the other guys. Don't worry, I'm coming. Oh, we are now fully in the water, swimming or walking across to the island over there. Seeing what's over there. Whoa. There's an alligator right there. We gotta be careful. If we stay still, he will not mo notice us. We do not want to get eaten today, boys. Alright, let's keep moving. Chill the alligator is gone and we can keep moving. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. It's looking like we're getting close to this island in the middle of the swamp here. And are we here to get something? Oh, this man's digging something up from the water. Oh, the trap is stuck in the mud. Why? You want me to help you? I will help you. Gotta pull this trap outside of the mud to see if we caught anything. There we go. It's broken. 
Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. <sighs> Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose it's the way. Let's go. Don't worry, Dutch, we won't spend that much time here. We just gotta keep on swimming through these waters here, get to the other side, and see what we have to do from there. Hold up. Oh, look at all those gators. There's three of them. They're just swimming by, minding their own business, and we're just here watching them. Don't worry, man. I will lead the way. We got to swim across. I will follow you. You will follow me. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay. Hey, okay, what? Have you stopped moving? We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, so they've let us go. We now need to. Must, we have to find jewels. So we're looking for the man that has the boat. I'm gonna. Swim over to this island over there. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Let's keep going. So we're now on this little island here. We are in the search area. We'll get to find a person. That will be difficult. Have they drowned in the water? Have they been hidden in a tree? They could be anywhere. There's a light over there I see. Maybe they might be over there. We can check it out. I have a feeling that that's the guy over there, but I do not know. Actually, I do not think that it's that guy over there because it's not in the search area. We need to find the guy in this early type area here in the gears. No. I cannot find where Jules is. Looks like there's a lamp in this tree here. Well, what could that be? That must be him. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Past you, but nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Also, this is the boat right here. You're telling me to okay. get into the skiff. Uh, where'd this monster swim off to? So we're walking around. We're going to see if we can get inside this boat and if there's anything we can take. Because this man said there's a monster somewhere. The boat is stuck in the tree. We gotta get it out. Got it loose. Go. Good man. All right. Let's get back to the dock. Yes, please. Let's go. So we have found Jules. The boys are back with me, and we're taking the boat to the dock. It looks like we're all good for now. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? 
This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. What's happening? The boat has stopped and we cannot move. Hey, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute. Boy, go on. This is a bad idea. So we're going in the water right now because the boat is stuck on something and Jules is gonna try to free us. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, pull the boat out. We need to get out of here. Jules, pull harder. There we go. The boat's moving again. Good boy. Good lad. What? Oh, he sun sunk underwater. Something's got him. You want me to go? I will exit the skiff. We gotta save Jules right now. Okay, let's run, boys. We gotta run to save this man. I see Jules. He's way over there. How do you get there? Something's pulling him under the water. Don't worry, brother. I am coming. Oh, it's grabbed him again. Where could he be? He could be anywhere. Hey, I'm trying to look for him. That's okay. He's over here. Come on. Come to me. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm right here. I got you, brother. You stay with me. Okay, you're with me. You're coming back to the boat with me. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get there safely. Let's move it. What this gunshots now? Oh, that thing's chasing us. We gotta move now. Keep shooting, Dutch. Save me, please. It's coming, boys. Oh, it's coming. We gotta move. Oh, Dutch, I'm trying to run here. Come on. I'm out of stamina and I can't move any faster. You gotta give me a break here. Okay, we're here. We're here, boys. Come on. Relax. We're just gonna put him in the boat here. Give him the Dutch. Bring him inside. He's fine for now. He's kind of hurt, bleeding, but that's okay. Let's get in the boat and let's move in. Oh, they bit his leg real bad. Oh, that does not look good. That's a big shark or whatever. Alligator? I don't know. We gotta keep shooting him. He's getting closer. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That's all we got right now. Don't, the horse isn't near us. Oh, come on, buddy. Keep shooting. We do not want this guy near us. Hey, he's huge, man. Okay, now he's under us. I think he's gone. And he's gone now. Here, take this. Try to stop bleeding. Gonna be okay, son. Gonna be okay. So we have to wrap a bandage around his leg to stop the bleeding. This is a good plan. We are doing it correctly. This man needs to live. Hopefully, this will stop the bleeding. I'll wrap around his cut. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. He'll be fine. He's hurt right now. He's kind of unconscious, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going back, and it looks like there are some bad guys. Or the, the enemy, the shark is right. Are the huge alligators right there? We must shoot to the man, or else he will eat us, and we do not want them to eat us. Don't worry, Dutch. I am shooting as fast as I can. Come on, he's okay. He he left her a second. Okay, we're good for now. Okay, I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. 
That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's just lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squealing. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. Yes, I'll see you later, brother. We had a, a good time right there. Someone almost died, but we're okay. We're okay. We're ready to move on. Mission complete. Country pursuits. Now it looks like that mission has been completed. It is all good and done for. We got a campfire right here, boys. And what we have to do now, there's a bounty on a head right there. And there is Dutch here. And I think for the rest of this episode, we are going to hunt this bounty down, boys. Going to get some money. In the next episode, we're going to go see Dutch. So for right now, let's go hunt down a bounty, boys. Let's go to him now. Okay, so we have to locate Mark Janssen. He is wanted alive. Okay, okay. So this is the general area where he should be. I see there's a camp here. We must be very quiet, okay, everybody? But before we do anything, we gotta go to our horse here and equip some good weapons. Boys, let's get to work. My weapon is in poor condition, eh? Let's maintain it then. We take a quick look, look at it, and we will clean it. It does get rid of all the red marks on there. The condition is back to regular here. And it looks like that is it. So now that's done. This is up to par, and now uh, we, wanna... we can contain this one too. We want to maintain it, and let's clean this gun too. Make sure it's all nice and toasty, ready to go back to work. And I think I'm going to keep with this Lancaster repeater for now, and then we're going to start killing some people, boys. So capture Mark Johnson alive. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. Pop! What? Did I do something wrong? Was that Mark Johnson? 
Mark Johnson has died. Okay. So that was Mark Johnson. We gotta do this again, but right. We cannot kill the Johnson boy. The Johnson boy. We ain't going until you get this right. I can't, Eddie, please. Okay, so our weapons are still in good condition here. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man until he can get on a <gasps> You're here for your bounty. Come to mama boy. Don't shoot. I knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Okay, then I'm gonna accept it. Or should I decline? Accept it! Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. So you're talking to your boy before I take you away. You hear? No, I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? Wait, so you want you what, what am I supposed to do here? Do I equip you? Take me or what? Yes, you're taking me. Come with me, horsey. Come here. Come here, horsey. You better get on my horse right now, so I'm gonna come to you. Take me away, or let me loose. You get on my horse. He's showing his clemency. Go before he changes his mind. Go. What? I'm not letting you get away. You come back to me right now. Oh, the trees in the way. We have to get this guy. Because we get some money if we get this guy. There we go, there we go. Pick it up, boyo. Oh. You're not going anywhere, buddy. I'm going to hog tie you up. I picked up. We, now we got to... I'm going to loot the body first to get some extra stuff. That's always good stuff. This is uh, very kind of you. Yes, this is very kind of me. I will I will pick the body up and now take him to the sheriff's office and get some money for him. But that's it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. My name is Mick Thick, and I'll see you in the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Bye-bye!